welcome everybody to another awesome episode of Wine, Hops, and Road Stop, shot on location deep within the bowels of the Latimer compound. It is the middle of the summer. I am with my wife, Carlos' best friend, Desiree. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm hot. <laughs> it's it's kind of hot out, yeah. But we got some cool drinks. Yes. And we have some wine to talk about. We have a road stop. I went up to Betty Brewing Company. We're going to check them out later on the show. We have a real weird drink that was suggested by some of our viewers. Um, Who thinks it's weird? You well, think it's weird. Yeah, I think it's weird. That's later in the show. We've got, we got a packed show, so we got to, you know, get rolling here. Maybe uh, you're weird. I am weird. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm weird. I mean, that's why you married me, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, six years. Yeah. Six year anniversary. Six year anniversary show. <laughs> We've been married six years. We've known each other for a lot longer than that. But six years ago, right around this past weekend, is when uh, we did that thing. Got married. And it was fun. And when we flew off to Vegas, and we got married again by Elvis. We've been married a few times. Yeah. A couple times, yeah. <laughs> got married in the desert mm -hmm. once uh, with our officiant dressed as Batman mm -hmm. during the lightning storm. Yeah. Um, so who's weird now? Well, both of Not us. Not us. No. I'd no. marry you again. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Now, let's get uh, moving here with uh, things that people want to talk about and want to hear about. Wine? Yes. And the centralpatastingtrail.com, which has wine, beer, and shine, including the University Wine Company, which we will be showcasing a wine by them later. Here it is right here. This is the University Wine Company White Out. So we're going to try that later on the show. But first, my dear. Yes, dear. If people want to talk to us, where do they go? They can go to our Facebook page. That's right. And you can join the group, which uh, Facebook.com slash Wine Hops and Road Stops is our page. And you just press the button that says join group and join group. But even more importantly, go to our YouTube page because we have extra stuff on the YouTube page. Yes. Yeah. And we'll be shooting some extra stuff, too, after the show, too. Only found on the YouTube page. And, of course, you get to that YouTube various ways through our Facebook or through our website at winehopsandroadstops.com. Now, if that's out of the way, let's talk about some booze news. And dogs. My favorite. Yeah. My favorite things. <laughs> beer for dogs? Well, that's what Bush Beer has done. Dubbed Dog Brew by Bush, the beer is an all-natural beer brewed from bone broth. There's no alcohol or hops involved in the brew, just a bunch of flavors designed to appeal to a dog's palate, including bone-in pork butt, corn. <laughs> I knew you were going to laugh at that. He <laughs> said butt. <laughs> All right, Beavis. Celery, basil, mint, ginger, and water. Now, it's been around for a year or two, and a few other companies have followed suit with this, their own kind of beer for dogs. I just don't see it coming becoming a huge thing. What do you think? I don't know. I guess if the price is right, it's a novelty thing. Why not? You could try it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I, mean, I, I don't think I'm not going to say you should give your dog uh, dog brew by Bush like constantly. I don't think hmm. that, that probably wouldn't be good. Maybe a treat once in a while. Yeah, you freeze it, ice cubes, <laughs> okay. and you give it to them. That's you know the best way. Yeah. No. No. There's no alcohol in it. Though. Like, no. I gotta stress that. It's no. not like, and you should never, ever, ever give alcohol to your dogs. No. I've mixed up bone broth and some mm -hmm. veggies and stuff and froze it, and it's great for them in the summer. So Good. They did it for you. Well, there you go. And Bush did it for you. Ha, <laughs> oh. Bush. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, boy. You're not a racing fan. Uh, no, no. Well, it's almost race weekend. It is. It is almost <laughs> race weekend. You know what I'm a fan of, though? What? Wawa. Oh, I, I am a fan of Wawa. yeah. And I'm a fan of Cape May Brewing. And Wawa and Cape May Brewing are releasing a boozy iced tea. <sighs> right around now, actually. It should be coming out either this week, next week, whenever you've seen the show. You can probably find it at your local Wawa. It's a limited edition beverage which uses Wawa peach iced tea and Cape May Brewing's adult libations. It clocks in an easygoing 4.5 ABV according to the news release. Yeah. This peach flavored hard iced tea will be available at Wawa beer stores and select retailers this summer i want to try it really bad i do love wawa iced tea i do love cape may brewing is a really good brewing company so yeah that's that's a good combo yeah we're gonna try it out if we get some we'll get our hands on some oh we'll we try will it out. okay i right. have connections <laughs> connect with the, with the wawa people mm, can't the tell wawa you. syndicate can't tell you or the jersey the jersey shore people 
Okay. okay. All right, well, listen, uh, we gotta go uh, take a break. Don't go away. We got more Wine Hunts and Road stuff coming up after commercial break, and we are going to try some wine. University Wine Company. When we get back, don't go away. The Central Pennsylvania Tasting Trail is the best way to experience Center County. Their tasting trail is filled with craft breweries, distilleries, wineries, and cideries, all located in Center County, Pennsylvania. Something for everyone's taste. So visit centralpatastingtrail.com to keep up with the latest trail members, events, and get yourself a passport. It's the best way to experience Center County, the Central PA Tasting Trail. Visit today. Welcome back to Wine Hops and Road Stops. It is time for wine. The University Wine Company right here. This is the whiteout wine that we have here. Now let's talk a little bit about the University Wine Company. It is a family owned Pennsylvania winery and they say they create memories. One bottle at a time. You can check them out, of course, online, universitywineco.com. Or if you want to drive out to State College and see them, 540 Misty Hill Drive in State College. They're, they have tasting flights, wine by the glass or bottle. They have some craft beer available, some food options, bottles, and of course, their Eufreeze wine slushy to go. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much all about them. Now, let's talk a little bit about what we got in front of us which is off dry white table wine. Mm. <laughs> I don't know much about this other than it's crisp and fruity. There should be a peach and pineapple aroma to it. That's what I've been told. Okay. Well, we'll see. Here you go, dear. I'll trade your glasses. All right, then. And uh, there should be like a nice citrus taste to it with a very Ooh. crisp, Finish. I can smell it. From here. Mm. Oh yeah, you could you could really smell that <laughs> peach and pineapple. Yeah, yeah it's very fruity. Ooh. Okay, so the whiteout is of course named after tr the tradition of select Penn State football games where everyone shows up dressed in white. Yes. This would be perfect. <laughs> perfect. Mm. White table wine for whiteout. I like it. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you? Uh, I, see, I don't even know what you like as far as wine goes. Yes, you do. Do you like white wine like this? You know I like white wine. You don't like red, dry red. No. Right. I don't. Okay. You don't really like dry red. I no. Okay. That's what I was. That's what I was. When I was picking out the bottle no. for us tonight. I was thinking. I'm pretty sure she likes white over red. So we'll go yeah. white. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think of this white wine? This is good. Um, it is fruity, mm -hmm. but it has some bite at the end. Yeah, I like that. I wasn't expecting it. And all of a sudden, you know, that little bit of, I guess it's the pineapple kind of, mm. you know. Yeah. This is good. This it is, is good. good. It is so good. if you want to, uh, like I said, if you want to know more about the winery, go to their website or take a ride. Go visit them in person. I, I really, uh, I really like the idea of the wine slushy. Um, you know, that's <laughs> just how I am. Sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so and yeah. they, and they are of course part of our sponsor, the Central PA Tasting Trail. They have wine, they have beer, and they have shine. And we'll be showcasing uh, some different wines from different wineries on the next couple episodes and of course you can check them out at centralpatastingtrail.com for all their events and every member of the tasting trail is on there there's a map there you can go from one to one to one and uh check out some really really great wine out there in the central pennsylvania region this was excellent yeah, I, so, yeah I really like it yeah we're just gonna just this is it's just I'm, I'm talking like the whole bottle after we're done that's a plan. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, we'll be back with our road stop for this episode. It's the Benning Brewing Company. I can't wait to share that with you. I had a great time there the other day. I'll go away, we'll be right back. Our road stop today takes us to the Benny Brewing Company. I am with Ben. This is like a little sneak peek of what we're doing in the fall for the Luzerne County Ale Trail and the Luzerne County Visitors Bureau. But right now, 
I want to talk a little bit about what we have in front of us. Uh, we got some great beers here. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about, I believe, is a Pilsner. Yep, that's, uh, that's our Czech Pilsner style. It is called Check Yourself. Check Yourself, okay. Now, we've, we've showcased the Benny Brewing Company beers on our show before, but this is the first time we're actually getting out of our studio, coming up here on location to sample some beers with the Brewmaster. Uh, before we sample this beer, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what someone can expect when they come to uh, Benny Brewing Company. When they come to Benny Brewing Company, it's literally like going on vacation for those few hours that you're out. You feel like you're somewhere else here at Benny Brewing. So not only can you come in and grab a beer, you can see it being made. You can get our food, our big, big wide array of menu items such as barbecue and burgers and salads. Um, you can see your food being cooked. You can see your beer being made. And you can have a great time inside the facility at any of our nightly events, listen to live music on the weekends, or you can come out and sit on our patio and get some sunshine. You go back a long way in northeastern Pennsylvania, uh, at least 10 years? Yeah, I started brewing uh, professionally in 2010 down at Marty's Bloom, which is my parents' uh, restaurant down there. And then in 2016, I decided to go out on my own and move to our new location here on the Sansui Highway in Hanover Township. And you've always had a passion for, for brewing beer, though, even before that? Oh, yeah. I was home brewing in my basement years prior to that and doing a lot of sampling and getting friends to come over. It became the popular spot to hang out. When I hear a story about someone like taking their love, taking their passion for home brewing and making it into a successful business, I mean, that's great. It always is. It feels great. I always said I don't even work anymore. I just come and do exactly what I want to do every day. Well, yeah, you know, you got to find something you love and find out how to get paid for it. And that's the secret to life. Now, let's talk about this Pilsner that we have in front of us. Yes. Tell me about this. Um, the Pilsner itself has German, straight German Pilsner in it and a little bit of Carapils. Um, we use a Czech style yeast strain in it. It gets krausened. And it also gets dry hopped with uh, Czech sauce hops. Oh, okay. So. so this is going to be like a real Pilsner, not like yeah. a domestic Pilsner. It's not an American Pilsner. <laughs> okay. This is a true German style well, Let's Pilsner. try it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that There's that bite right at the end um, for any German Pilsner. Always, there's always that like telltale bite uh, finish at the end, if you will. This is really, really good. So how big is this uh, as far as ABV? I know all my viewers always like to know how big of a beer that they're drinking. ABV on this is 5%. Okay. So yeah. it's in the middle. It's not going to kill you. you know? It's got that great, like, spicy, floral, Czech sauce hop note to it. Finishes a little dry, a crisp finish. This is good. And you told me this reminds you of, like, your first beer you ever had. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the first beer I ever had. I'm not going to tell you how old I was, but uh, it's it was similar. Hmm. Yeah, that beer, that's a beer that you can really drink, you know, all year long. It's, it's really one of my go-tos. Excellent. Next up, we have something different. What do we have in front of us? We have our house tangerine shandy. Tell me about it. Um, tangerine juice added to one of our American wheat style beers. A uh, little residual sugar. I think this beer is great for an entry-level drinker of beer or someone who just wants a great thirst quencher in a hot summer day. I was going to say, like, if you're not really into craft beer or into like, that hazy, juicy, super hoppy, whatever, this may be the beer for you. This is the beer. This is our, one of our most popular, if not our most popular beer that we brew all year long. And you can only find it here, correct? It's only available here. On draft, yeah. only here, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's try it out. I'm usually not a big fan of these, but that is fantastic. I could drink that. This is, I'm done cutting the grass. I've gone to Betty, Betty Brewing Company to get something to eat and I have a couple of drinks and I'm drinking this because this is, this would be perfect on a nice hot summer day like today. Yeah, real it's nice really and orangey, good, yeah. almost like orange soda-esque. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. It's not over carbonated either because sometimes with, with beers like this, it tend to have a little bit too much carbonation yeah. for me. We back off some of the carbonation actually and so it comes across smoother. Oh, sometimes yeah. the carbonation bite will give a little bitterness to it so we take that away. I am sorry. I'm going to apologize to my wife right now because she didn't come with us. She would love this. Once again, something completely different. What do we have in front of us now? We have one of our CryoHop single series IPAs. What is CryoHop? Now, I did explain it last season 
to the audience, but they probably forgot. They weren't paying attention. I probably didn't even explain it very well. What is cryo hops? So cryo hops are still is a is a hop cone that they cryogenically freeze. And what they do is they break away the vegetal matter when it's frozen from the green part of the hop, and they keep that oh so delicious yellow lupulin gland inside that we get to put into our beer in a more concentrated version. So what you get from that is more of the tropical fruity hop flavor okay. without the vegetal matter behind it would give you the grassy or green kind of flavors from a regular hop. No, okay, so what can I expect with this? A, a more fruit forward? You're going to get a big hop nose and flavor. It's very concentrated, but it doesn't come off as bitter just in the way that we actually use it during dry hopping process. It has a so, nice, nice smell to it. It's a nice hazy, yeah. it's a nice hazy double IPA. Oh, um, it's a double, okay. It's a double, yeah. And it has, Idaho, this, this beer happens to have Idaho 7 uh, Crow hops oh, in Okay, it, so. all right. So this is a little bit bigger than the ones we've been drinking. Yeah, you get all kind of like melon and papaya. Yep, exactly what I'm what I'm tasting there. Yeah, but this is really no, good. No pineapple, super smooth. Oh yeah, like refined bitterness. Mm -hmm. It only comes in at like maybe 35 IBUs, so it's low. Mm -hmm. The Czech Pilsner is actually just as bitter as what this is, but the hop flavor it's like liquid hops in your mouth, liquid like fruity stone fruit kind of flavors, tropical and citrus. So what he was mentioning about the IBU, that's the International Bitterness Unit? That's correct. So the number that, the higher the number, the, the, the more bitter the beer is going to be. Uh, this is pretty low, and uh, yeah, it's not going to be very bitter. Like a lot of your double IPAs come in like very, very, very bitter because of the hop and the amount of hops in it and the type of hops in it. This yeah. is not that. This is really smooth, and... Um, this is a double IPA? Yeah, this is 8.2%, uh, this one. Dangerous, because it does not taste like it should be 8% or, no, it does or, not. or, or, or higher, you know. A double IPA, you know, got to watch it, because a lot of times, like, especially with, with these, um, these smoother IPAs, it does mask the alcohol burn that usually comes with something that's higher. So, uh, yeah, just be careful. What a fantastic beer. I want to thank you for taking the time out today to spend with us and with the people at Wine Hops and Road Stops. Tell me what's going on in the future. Tell me a little bit more about Benny before we go. Uh, some things that are coming up in the next month, two or, or three, and even into, into the fall. We do our trivia nights on Tuesday. We have a Name That Tune Night trivia on Thursday. And we always have live music every Friday and Saturday. So we're always doing something to kind of give the customers something to look forward to. We also have wood-fired pizza coming back really soon for all you guys out there that are sending me the messages <laughs> saying when's the here. pizza coming back. <laughs> the pizza's coming back very soon, I promise you. You can always come here and buy beer by the case. You can grab crowlers or growlers to go. Now, if you don't know what a crowler is, that's a big thing right now, which is you get the beer right from the tap into the can and then make it right there, right? Yep. We, we, we pour fresh draft beer that's made on a weekly basis into a can. We seal it shut and you can take it home. It's 32 ounces. You split it with one of your best friends. Yes, or keep it friends. Or <laughs> open it up and drink the whole can yeah, yourself. Yeah, the whole can yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for, for spending some time with us. And that's what Road Stop for uh, this episode of One Pop Stand Road Stops. Jack As Distilling, a small batch micro distillery in Spring Glen, Pennsylvania, specializing in flavored moonshines, whiskeys, and rums, and a large variety of cocktails to go. Visit them in Spring Glen or at their other locations, or on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome back to Wine Hops and Road Stops. This is our last segment. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, but before we go, we have a can here of Mountain Dew Flaming Hot, okay? This was given to me by guitar player Mike the other day. He was like, here, try this on. It's really weird. <laughs> so, of course, uh, you know, I went onto our Facebook group and our Facebook page, and I was, you know, I was trolling around saying, like, hey, does anyone know what to do with this? And so a couple people sent me some messages saying, like, add fireball to it. So I looked it up online, and it's actually a drink called the Hellhound. Oh, boy. So <laughs> what we're going to do 
Got my fireball here. We are going to, we're gonna pop this open. We're not measuring. Nah, that's about <laughs> half. That's half for you. Now, I've never had this before, so I don't know what we're in for. It says it's Mountain Dew with a blast of heat and citrus. Okay. So let's see. What is this gonna taste like? No clue. It's pretty. It is pretty. All right, look at that, baby. Oh. Very nice. Not bad. Okay. Now, that's Mountain Dew. Okay. Ooh, it smells weird. It's not a fireball in it. Let's try it out. Oh, uh, ooh, oh. Ooh. oh. <laughs> oh my nose. It's like eating Red Hots. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, red is it supposed to taste like Red Hots or Fleming Hot Cheetos or I don't know. Both? Well, let's try it out. Mmm. What is that? It's cinnamony and orangey and... Mm -hmm. And there's, you could taste the lime in it. Yes. Which actually works with the hot cinnamon mm -hmm. and the fire. This is actually really who, good. Who knew the cinnamon and lime? Oh my God. You know what, Mike, okay. thank you for giving this to me. He gave this to me after a gig the one night. He's like, <laughs> you gotta try this, it's weird. And so, you know, I'm thinking, you know what? I could drink it after the gig at like three in the morning or I could save it and share it with you on the show. So if you guys, um. Get some Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. I really like this. Get a little bottle of uh, Fireball and uh, have yourself a drink. That's yeah, nice. good, good call there, babe. I'm glad you shared it with everybody because this mm -hmm. is really good. Yeah, Hellhound, Hellhound. Mixing f Hot Mountain Dew, Flaming Hot Mountain Dew, and Fireball. Wow, never thought it would taste like that. I like I it. And it's, all right, it's weird, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this whole show's been weird. Uh, let's talk about something that's not weird before we go. Me? Well, no, but one of your favorite places to go. The Jackass Distillery and the Drink of the Week. Yes! So every show, we say hello to our friends and sponsor, the Jackass Distillery. They won some award the other day. They did. They're expanding. They're doing great. And you know what? Their moonshine is just, it's out of this world. It's to the moon and back. It's great. And every time, you know, you can check out our Facebook page, the drink of the week's there every, I believe, Wednesday. And we talk a little bit about it on the show. So uh, up on the screen right now is the drink of the week. Enjoy it. Uh, get some Jackass, moonshine, and make your drink of the week. And then get some of this too and make this one. Right? Why not, right? Yeah. Mm. So that's, um, that's it. So that's all we have. Uh, WineHubsRoadStops.com is our website. Check it out, and we'll see you again. Remember, life is too short to go through with drinking bad beer or bad weird drinks. <laughs> so make yourself a good weird drink. Drink with something to love. We'll see you next time on WineHubs and Roadstops. Hooray. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that's actually good. Who thinks of this stuff? <laughs> drunks. <laughs> good job, drunks. All right. Put that down. Promo. Oh,